All right, first fish of the session. Only fishing like half an hour. Plus, now we got this little one on our white pop-up. Very happy, good start, no blanking, so that will do for now. And really, there's loads of fish around us, so hopefully we will get more. See? Thank you. Right. I have to find mine. I don't know where is it here to install now. Got yeah, I always got like two free with me, but I don't know where is it now. Too excited. <laughs> yeah. Another lost, first lost. Double bobber. <laughs> Look at this. There's one fish. Oh, another one. And a double take. Yeah. So we, we just see me to put it back that fish. Uh, like two hours, two and a half hours ago. And since I had another fish which I sadly I lost uh, due to the weed. While I was playing with this fish, 
I had another take. So I have had a double take, so I got two fish in the net now. Chill out. It's not a big one, but it's good to catch. Really good to catch. And we still have loads of time. We just only started this session a couple of hours ago. So this is number three and number four is in the net. As soon as I can, let me to show it. Here we go. Finally. Here we go. Number three. I will check the weight in a minute. Really, really happy. After losing that fish, I. I was really a bit gutted, but this fish is made up, made it up. Oh, really, really good. And we got number four in the net to show you in a minute. Yes. All right, let's check the weight of this one and let's put it back. 18 pound uh, mirror carp, number three. All right, let's put it back. And number four, it's, I, I think it's definitely 20 plus. Looks like 20 plus. Really active, oh, because in the previous fish, uh, white pop-up on a hinge stiff. And this one, uh, this one is yellow pop-up on a Rodney rig. and they are still showing. This one is, I really like this one. How does it look like? Come on, fishy. Let me show you to the camera. And then you can go. Okay, let's check the weight. Maybe it calms down a little bit. I just can can do a picture like that. Twenty one. This one is a twenty one. So here we go. Twenty one. Scaly. Finally, chair cool down a little bit. Twenty one pounds scaly mirror. This is number four. Number. This is number four. Out of from out of the double take. Really, really happy. Ooh, it's a scaly one. Looks really, really nice. Still got like really dark color. Don't know if it's seen or visible on the camera, but it's really dark colored. Quickly another side, and I slip it back. Yeah, another side. Really, really happy after losing that fish to, and then catch these two. Well, we're certainly getting somewhere. Hopefully, we can continue this catching spree. Let's hope the best. Uh, let's put this back. And rods are already back, so we're fishing. So we can get a bite again any minute.
Okay, welcome back again. It's been 10 minutes since I had those double, double take, since I had those fish. I just crossed the road back. I was eating my uh, dinner and the road ripped up again. Little 18.8, uh, 18.8 18 scaly mirror, uh, scaly carp. Look at this. Oh, again, white pop up on a hinsty frig. They are keep coming back and the uh, boil is around. Just sell and uh, another another mainline boil. Nothing else at the moment. This is working pretty good, so I'm just going to keep doing what I do and catching these 18 pound 8 ounce mirror, scaly mirror. Okay, really, really happy. This is number four. Uh, Four out of five. Uh, sadly, I lost one, so this is really good result, I think. Uh, really, really happy. You can't believe it. It's going to be a really successful session, I think. So, last look, and we're gonna slip it back, and we can wait for another one. Get in, get in. We are very busy guys and I just put the fish back. I was sat down to eat my food again and another rod ripped off on a yellow pop-up on a Ronnie rig. It's a little common. Probably around 13, 14 pound, but I don't care. It is number five. five number five for this session it's a really good session i love it little common probably 14 15 pound here we go number five really good really good and just only lost one so six in total Let's put this back quick and hopefully another one is not too far away now. So here we go. Another, another victim of the essential IP pop-up. Ah, look at this. 20 pound common carp. This is number six. And we are only fishing like eight, eight between 10 hours. And we still have loads of time. So, this is really, it's going to be an epic session, just like a Easter bank holiday. Or even better, we will see. Here we 
go, another side of this fish. 20 pound common. Uh, second biggest one so far. And yeah, really good, really good. Let's put it back. And hopefully the another one is not too far away now. Yes, get in it. So good session. Surely the biggest bigger one can be that too far now. Well, we're still catching, thinking about to uh, recross the rod because it was it went too quiet, and then just out of the blue and they gone. Lucky I didn't touch it. Sometimes you need to be patient. Yo, good morning. Really, really uneventful night. I would have expected like one or two fish at night because you know, we had like seven, seven take yesterday and managed to land six, six of them. So I would have expected to catch some, at least one at night, but nothing happened. It was very, very quiet. Yesterday, just around five o'clock, I wanted to fish uh, somewhere else, not just in a weed. So I found on the left side in a corner, I found a nice gravelish area, nice clean, where there's no weed around it. And the fish, are, oh, they, they are hanging around there because I see them this morning as well. I baited that spot up and I left it till about half eight. So I baited that spot up around 5 o'clock and I left it till 8 o'clock and I put one of my rod there but nothing nothing happened there as well you know between the weed not there so it's it's uh, it went quiet after after uh, six o'clock surprisingly it went quiet so I got here yesterday about, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 o'clock. And it was Saturday, you know, I, I was like, ah, come down, look around. If it's any, any space available, but it's a fish, I will stay. Uh, if, it's, if there is no space, where is, the, where is the fish moving around? I will go somewhere else, I look around. There's plenty of, of uh, lake I can choose from. So I'm not limited in one lake, which is really, really good. So I came down, look around, I found the fish in this corner. I found the fish in this corner. There's loads of fish were jumping around in this area. I fish one rod over here in this hole. At the moment, one over there. And I had the fish from just over here. <sighs> but looks like I have to put the rod back. Uh, the left rod, which is in a corner, looks like I have to put it back in a weed because I, there's a pole, which is a marker. That's your. Uh, uh, boundary marker so you can go forward than that marker and yesterday they were hitting that pole I caused the road but nothing happened and today same they are hitting the poles again and it's uh, seven o'clock so I think I'm going to change uh, hinge tip on uh, another road as well so both going to be hinge tip so the winning tactic at the moment is fuel boily uh, on the left rod between the weed uh, white pop up on a hinge stiff and only boily around a few boily up after each fish and the same on another rod as well between the weed 
essential ivy pop up on a Rony rig and few boil around and then that worked, that, that worked pretty good and last night I put out some particle on, on the corner where I found that where I found a nice area but unfortunately nothing happened on that that uh, spot at the moment still got we are not even fishing like 24 hours yet so we are doing really really good at the moment hopefully it's going to keep keep up and same as yesterday so I mean we're going to catch a few in a daytime that would be great but if not then this session is going to be uh, either way good session so this this was a morning update and so far that's all what's happened in this session and the tactic which I used so I will get back to you later finally we got the first fish today and the seventh for this session it's really really quiet I was I was thinking about to change something but but it, it I don't need to change looks like so because it's working so a little 14 pound mirror carp as soon as it's let me to show you I will do it still fighting ah, here we go little 14 pound number seven I'm hoping we're going to catch one bigger one this session. Well, as long as I'm catching, to be honest, I don't really care. But would be nice uh, one bigger one, like mid 20 or uh, or even 30 pound, 30 pound plus. All right, not bad start for this day. A few more, and then hopefully we can break the record. So let's leave this back and. Rods is already back in the water, so we get a chance to catch maybe one or two. Another one. Yeah, today too. Finally, both rod is working again. So second fish of the second fish for today and eight for the session. 
little 19 pound common little long one there we go it spawned out I number eight just a few more white pop-up on a hint brick here we go yes there we go here we go oh maybe now quick look here is it 19 and um, 19 pound common cut really really good hopefully we're gonna catch more uh, just only yellow pop-up and a few boilies around it and it's working they, they just keep picking up my bait which I'm really happy for uh, let's put this guy back Number nine, just here. Yeah. 19 pound little uh, scaly one. This session is epic. I love it. And we are only fishing like 24 hours now, so that's really good session. If he's going to let me to show you. That would be good, but really active. He had a little rest while I was casted on, while I casted on back. So, here we go. Number nine. <laughs> Scaly little fish. Really, really good. Really, really good. And this one he came on a yellow pop up, essential IP. Look at this. Are you on the other side? Here is another side. Flying a little bit calm down. There we go. Number nine. 19 pounds, scaly mirror carp. Really, really happy. Really good session. Uh, I can't, can't ask for more, but I would be greedy, so. I want to get more. All right, let's slip this back and you know, let's get some more. So here we go, number 10 of the session. It's going a little bit slow today, but still I managed to catch a few. 
it's a little, little common. But falls really, really hard. Come on. As soon as it let me. Just a tiny little common look at this. Maybe 12 pounds. Really good, really good. A few more. There's another side. Got this little common. Again, essential I'd be pop up on a runny rig. And now, because the bite has slowed down a little bit, I spawned a little bit over the top, uh, boiling crumb and pellets. So, that after maybe one hour, it just arrived this one. So, gonna do the same. And hopefully, we're gonna have more to show you. Right, here we go again. I thought that the bites are dried out, but I managed to catch another one. The last few fish was quite small. The last, yeah, the last few of them was quite small. But they fight really hard. All of the little ones, that's always, they fight so hard. Here we go. Probably around around 11, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 pound, something like that. But it's good to catch. Still, we're still catching number 11. Yeah, boy. Show you quickly this side as well, and I slip it back. Ah, here we go. Little, little common. Would be nice, some bigger, bigger one. But I'm not complaining. There you go. Let's put it this back. Okay, here we go, number 12, look at this jet black uh, mirror carp, uh, it was 18 pound on an essential IB pop-up, who are number 12, just four more to go, hopefully we can break the, break my personal record here, 
but let's let's see still got a little bit time left so hopefully we will manage to break the record Chill out for five minutes. Look at this dark color. I think I seen this fish today. Jumped out like four times in a row. I think it's this fish because that was so um, really good. Let's put it back. Hopefully the next one is not too far away. I started feeding with uh, chopped boilies and chopped and crumb boilies and pellets in my spot. Uh, so I tried to force the bite out. Uh, at the moment, looks like working on one of the rods. So I'm going to repeat uh, the another rod as well. A little bit of crumb in a mix in a spot pump. A little bit of cramp again and a little bit more pellet and that's gonna go out. So this is what I'm doing at the moment. I tried particles not working. They want boilies and pellets so I just give them what they want. I, I'm gonna do like two. I don't want to overfill. I want them to come back and take more and then when I get more I catch more, I introduce more bait. So that's that's the tactic in this session and it's working. So I'm just gonna stick to it. And one more soon. Come and buy it. I just we just over one day 24 hours and uh, oh, what time is it it's seven o'clock so one day and six hours I would say It's really good. Yes, get in. Ah, good evening. We're getting 
getting dark now, so nothing happened the last last two hours. Uh, yeah, in the last two hours, nothing really happened. It went quiet. I seen a few fish showing on my left side of of the swim. The duck is coming. Look at this. You want some food? Yes. Yeah, so I seen a few few fish showing uh, on the left side corner. I don't know what to do. Should I put a rod there or just leave it? Because those two rod, those two spots which I'm fishing, both of them is producing fish. Nothing last night though, but uh, I don't know. I might, I might give it. Give it a try. Yeah, this is nothing the last two hours are really quiet. Only ducks uh, interested for feeding at the moment, so yeah, ducky. So probably I will see you tomorrow morning if nothing happening tonight. Then I will catch you in the morning time. And yeah, pretty much that's it. It's little, this wind is really, really cold. And it's end of May. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the like button. Don't forget to turn on the notification. 